Here we are then, Southampton, the final match of the regular championship season. And it comes at home to Stoke City. It is the playoffs now for Saints, but they'll look to end the campaign on a high. First here today, and then Leeds United away next weekend to end the campaign. And as it is, it's Stoke. Rarely you see a team come to St Mary's and probably have more of the ball first five minutes, but they might break the offside trap. They do. And Campbell safe from McCarthy, and somehow the rebound doesn't find the target, but safe from McCarthy the first time, Laurent on the rebound, and that was a let-off for Southampton. It certainly was, and you were touching on how they've come about setting that this start of this game, and Campbell with the shot, McCarthy makes the save, and then Laurent with the rebound, you've got to say he's, he's got to do better there. Small bone. Up to Mara, that's... That we'll find Mara! Oh, and it's just cleared off the line in the end. Good defending from McNally. Well, at first, it looked like he wasn't going to get there. Bit of confusion in the Stoke defence. Mara nearly capitalised there. McNally had to just clear it off the line. Well, I've seen this happen before this season. It's almost a straight ball, and it's a brave challenge from Seiko Mara. Gets a... The goalkeeper's glove in his face for his troubles. It's a brave, brave challenge when the keeper's coming out like that. But as you say, from uh, McNally, was it sort of recovering to clear the ball off the line? Certainly would have saved his side a goal, a certain goal. Here's Bree now for the Saints. Oh, good play from Fraser. And Brooks! Still a chance. Bree to Walker Peters. Looking for his third of the season there. Didn't get it that time. Chances for both teams. Russell Martin making a lot of changes going into the game. But the other thing, Franny, is when you've got Adam Armstrong and Shea Adams on the bench with nearly 40 goals between them this season, that was good options to come on in the second half. Yep, it certainly is. And you read out the substitutions earlier, didn't you? You know, you've got Ryan Manning on there, Flynn Downs, you've got options. Defensively and attackingly. Here's Campbell though for Stoke. And Campbell's going to finish. And he gives the away side a 1 0 lead with a neat finish. He had a chance earlier. He's taken that one. And it is Stoke City who draw first blood. They've played well, Stoke, up to this point. And Stoke have the lead here. And Saints now have it all to do all of a sudden. Campbell on the score sheet, his third of the season. Well, we've been saying how well they started and how positive they look in their play, and they've they certainly haven't come here as a team sort of lacking confidence, but it's a long straight ball that he latches onto, so it's not ideal from a defensive point of view, but then you think, once you've got him stood still, you think Taylor Harwood Bellis would be just able to, to sort of see it, the danger out. James Bree doesn't give him that extra cover down the outside, and he just shifts the ball out to the, the right-hand side, drives it past Alex McCarthy to give Stoke City the lead. Will Smallbone dropping into that more defensive role. Gets away from Stevens. Oh, now this could be dangerous. This could be very dangerous. Jean Ho. Walker-Peters on the floor. Good defending. Well played from Bednarik. Still an opportunity, though. Bednarik did really well there to get Southampton out of trouble. And now they might get on the breakaway. Good play. Could get better here. Brooks. Mara in support. Finds him. Still Mara. Can he finish? No, he can't. Well, they got the ball forward quickly. And it all started from that challenge from Bednarek. Saints coming forward. The pass to Mara. Mara saw the goal gaping, but wide it goes. Goal kick. Now a dozy still. Does well here. He's got support, and Brooks! Well, he had a good chance in the first half, but he just couldn't get it past the Stoke defender the second time. Oh, Samadozi certainly got the, the better of his fullback at the moment. And now Stoke on the breakaway. Campbell, look at him in space here. Oh, it's a great save from McCarthy. The space Manov had there to have the shot. That looked like a... Certain second goal, but what a brilliant save from McCarthy. Still the danger's not over yet. And a goal kick, a double save from the Southampton goalkeeper. 
but denying what looked like a certain goal there for Stoke. Outstanding save, and he followed it up as well with a second save at close quarters. As soon as they break away, the ball across, as soon as that ball's rolled, rolled across from Campbell, you just think it's going to, you think goal, that's your first instinct. We're going to be two down, but Alex McCarthy dives to his right, he gets the block, it's a crucial save which could be a big outcome in the final result of this game. So two players coming off, Brooks has come off, and Mara's come off. Adams and Downs have come on. So four changes now for Southampton, still can make one more. Maybe Adam Armstrong, maybe Sulemana. Oh, good play from Campbell, is he tripped in the box, is he? Referee's not interested in that one. Heart and mouth stuff for a second there, Franny. It certainly was, but we're on the counter-attack. Adams tries to put Fraser away. And how things can change from one second to the other. The Saints came forward there. He just seems to exaggerate that movement when he goes to ground. And yeah. that might be enough for the referee to think, no, there's not enough in it for him. Yeah, that momentum, the way he went down. The referee was uh, pretty adamant in the end not to give the penalty. You've got to say we'll have at least one good chance between now and the end of the match, you hope. Will it come from this man, the wee man, to Walker Peters? A dozy wants it. Walker Peters might go in alone, though, but he won't find the target. A dozy crying out for it on the right-hand side. Walker Peters trying to find the top corner, but we've seen him score from there this season, and only one thing on Walker Peters' mind there. It opened up for him, and you can't blame him for taking the shot on, but just to his right, there he is, Sam Adozzi's flung his arms out. Give me the ball. He was desperate for it, wasn't he? As Smallbone has it now to Adams. To Adozzi. He's got it this time. <laughs> Referee not interested there either. He was right on the spot, wasn't he? Immediately waved it away. And Adozzi's still on the floor, and Stoke City are attacking. Manoff has it, he had a good chance earlier, McCarthy denies him a second time as well. Comfortable save, good save, one that you would expect him to make. Again, you'd have to say a little bit like the Tyrese Campbell one with Jack Stevens. probably not enough. Yes, we want a, a penalty, but the referee did wave it away, he was close. Aribo won't get it past the midfielder as Ennis flicks it on now. And Shamadu he's done well to get his team up the pitch. Now he's got the support. Might find the cross. He does find the cross. Blocked in the end as. Niall Ennis was sliding in there for Stoke. Was it a block or was it a save, Wildo? I'm not quite sure from the angle that we had. It might have been Alex McCarthy getting a left foot on it. Stoke look like they've done their job now. I think time is pretty much up. Time is up. It's a defeat for Southampton for the final home game of the regular championship season. It's three defeats in a row for Saints. For Stoke, that win keeps them in the championship for another season.